Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a great freaking day. So, as you can already tell by the title, I went apartment hunting again. Part two. Part duh. Let's start off with the bad news. Unfortunately, um, the apartment that Malaysia and I were looking at, it ended up being way over our budget. We thought it was going to be 1800 and apparently, since the apartment is a little bigger, it is now 1950 We definitely can't afford that. We have a budget and we want to stick to it, so unfortunately, um, yeah, we decided not to apply to that apartment because we didn't, you know, it's just, mm. we were so excited about that apartment because it was so cute. Also, the crazy thing is that when we came up to like check on the apartment, it wasn't done yet and Malaysia and I decided to just like go look at other ones just for fun. That's when we received the call and um, we found out that it was way out of our price. But you know, it happens. Here we are. This is part two of apartment hunting. Also, if you haven't seen part one, make sure you go watch it. There will be a link somewhere up here if you wanna go watch part one. Now, before I show you guys these apartments, they're definitely not as modern as the one that we found, but these have a lot more character. They're a lot more homey. Yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. Let's get started. Okay, so the first one we saw was in Burbank. This one was priced at 1800, but later on, they lowered the price to 1725. So starting off, right when you walk in, you walk into the living room. The living room is very nice and very spacious. Although it was a weird size, so we were trying to figure out how how we would put the couch and the TV. It was just an awkward kind of size. So moving on to the den, the den was very big. It was super big, super spacious, and we could definitely put a nice big desk and make it look all cute, like a cute aesthetic office. And I loved the window that was in the den. It was super cute. The kitchen, the kitchen dining um, area was a bit small. It would be very, very tight if we wanted to add a table. The kitchen was newly renovated. Um, I love the white countertops, love the white cabinets, a lot of storage. The one thing that I hated was that this apartment didn't come with a fridge and a stove. So if we were to pick this place, we definitely would have to buy a fridge and a stove. And nobody wants to do that. The bathroom also had been newly renovated. But yeah, the bathroom is a bathroom. Right in the first bedroom, you have this cute little hall that leads you to the bedroom, which I loved. And the bedroom was a decent size. I love the two windows, a lot of light coming in, and the closet was a decent size. The second bedroom, this bedroom was huge. It was like crazy huge, and it has a double door closet. The closet was very, very big. Now the one cool thing about this bedroom, I don't know if it's cool, but I thought it was cool. In the second bedroom, there is a door that leads to the bathroom and to the kitchen, so that was really cool. So let's talk pros and cons about this apartment. The pros is that this apartment was very big, very nice. The rooms were a very nice size. The kitchen was newly renovated and the location was pretty good. Now, the cons. There is no light in this apartment. Like literally no lights. No lights in the living room. No lights in the den. No lights in the bedroom. The only places that had lights was the kitchen and the bathroom. That's it. So this was one of those things where we were like, okay, well if we pick this apartment, we're definitely gonna have to buy a lot of lamps. So that was kind of upsetting. Also, another con was the kitchen. No stove and no fridge, so. Yeah, other than that, this apartment was great. Okay, apartment number two. Apartment number two is in the Burbank area as well. The location was decent. This apartment was going for $17.95, so it was below our budget. I loved this apartment. It was just, oh my God. It was an upstairs unit, so like it was surrounded by trees, so it felt like you were up in a tree house. Right when you walk in, you are greeted by these big windows and there's trees outside of the building. So it makes you feel like you're up in a tree house. The hardwood floors were a very nice color and it was a very spacious living room. The dining room was a decent size. We could definitely fit a nice little round table. Definitely doable. And then moving on to the kitchen. The kitchen was super cute, super vintage. I love the angle of the kitchen and I love how there's a window by the sink. Very cute, I was super obsessed and like on a gloomy day on a rainy day 
It would just, it would look so, so cozy. So this kitchen did come with a fridge and a stove, so that was good. One of the cool little things about this apartment is that leading out of the kitchen, there was a cute little balcony where we could put some chairs and a little table. So that was cute. Love that about this apartment. Down the hall, we had a closet. Moving on to the bathroom. The bathroom was, this bathroom had just been renovated. Um, the tile of the bathroom, I wasn't sure if I liked it. I mean, it's doable, but like, you know, I wasn't a big fan, but I think the more I looked at it, the more I was like, okay, this isn't that bad. But this bathroom was nice overall. Moving on to the very first bedroom, literally, Tiny. It is so small. Like you can only fit like a twin bed in there. Um, I would say that this is more of a office. Very upsetting because when I saw this bedroom, I was like, oh no, I can't move into this one. It's too small. The second bedroom was huge. This bedroom was just really big um, and it just, there was a lot of space in this room. It also had a very decent closet. That was apartment number two. Let's talk pros and cons. Pro, the area. Decent. Love the hardwood floors. Love the big windows. Love the trees. Love the kitchen. It came with a stove and a fridge. Cons. That room is tiny. Like who is gonna, that, that's literally like so small. Unfortunately, we had to cross this one out. It's literally a box. But honestly, this apartment would be super nice if I was living by myself and I could just take the master bedroom and then use the other room as an office. But that is not the case here. Moving on, apartment number three. So apartment number three was across the street from the one that I just showed you guys. This one was 1800. It is an upstairs unit. So you have these stairs leading up to the apartment and you also have these like glass things going on. It's like a little foyer. I don't know. As soon as you walk in, the living room was very big. Love the hardwood floors. There's a lot of light coming into this apartment. And my favorite part about this apartment was the balcony. It was just super, super big. And we could definitely see ourselves putting a table or a little lounging area there. So that was a huge plus in this apartment. This apartment definitely gave me a cozy vibe. Moving on to the kitchen. So the kitchen was huge. Huge. There was enough space for a dining table. It came with a fridge and a stove, so that was a huge plus. I love the window from the kitchen. It had a tree out the window, so it made it feel like we were up in the mountains. It was just so cute. Going into the first bedroom. The first bedroom is super big. Love the two windows. And it also had a big big closet and it also had cabinets above the sliding doors so there's plenty of storage. The second bedroom was also the same size so it was a very big room and it had a big window that Malaysia loved and it also had a big closet as well. Moving on to the bathroom. I hated this bathroom. As you can see there is blue tile. Um, I hate Hate it, hate it with a passion, but it was still functional. I would say that this is this was the worst part of this entire apartment. I hated that bathroom with a passion. Okay, let's talk pros and cons about this apartment. Pros, very big, very nice. The balcony, loved. The kitchen was huge. It came with a fridge and a stove. Um, the cons, that bathroom. Hated it. Moving on to the last apartment. I don't know how I found it. This apartment was so cheap. It was $16.50 a month, two bedroom and two bathrooms. Like what? I was like, what is wrong with this apartment? So right when you walk in, the living room is a very, very nice size. Not sure if I'm a fan of the hardwood floors, but they are doable. There's very big windows. Unfortunately, it was facing a big building. Not as much natural light was coming in. The dining room was a decent size that we could definitely fit a table. And the kitchen was newly renovated. Not sure if I like the granite counters, but for that price, I am willing to make it work. This kitchen did not come with a fridge. That was upsetting. There was a nice little hallway. Um, there was plenty of storage going into the bathroom I hated this bathroom it was it was just the worst I don't know I just did not get good vibes also there was a cockroach in the toilet and I was like oh no 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 sir that is a bad sign also there was like no window in the bathroom and that's just like one of like one of my pet peeves moving on to bedroom number one bedroom number one was very spacious this is the bedroom that came with the bathroom so it came with a toilet and a sink it came with a very big closet definitely could fit all of my clothes in there bedroom number two was same size it also had very nice lighting the closet in this one was a bit smaller but it was a walk-in closet so you could definitely Definitely make it work. Pros and cons. Pros, the price, so cheap, very spacious, two bathrooms, 
Big closets. Pretty good. Cons. No window in the bathroom. I hated the bathroom. There was no fridge. And also, the biggest one for this one um, was that there was no laundry on site. So that was a big, huge, huge con. We'd have to go do our laundry somewhere else. We definitely would have to take a day out of the week to go do that somewhere else. And we were not trying to do that. But we were still considering it. Hi, guys. So... It is a couple of weeks later since I filmed this video, currently editing, um, and I realized I forgot to film an outro, or I think I filmed an outro, but I, I don't know, I can't find it, and I'm just like, okay, let me film a new one, but... <laughs> So basically we found an apartment and if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the picture that I posted that um, we got an apartment. I didn't show this apartment in the video because I got the call that I got approved and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna include it because I wanna film an empty apartment tour. So just keep an eye out for that. I will be uploading that sometime next week. Um, exciting things are happening. Um, you guys are gonna love this apartment. I'm obsessed. It is literally so cute and I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, so sorry I didn't include it in this video, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I am officially moved out. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my upcoming videos. You don't want to miss them. They're gonna be so fun and especially because now it's like fall. Oh baby, I'm ready for that fall content. But yeah, oh my god, I'm so excited to show you guys. I literally want to show you guys. How about I give you a quick little sneak peek? Did you see it? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you. Thank you for always coming back every week to watch my videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And um, comment down below which one's your favorite. Why not? Even though I already chose one. Hope everyone's having a good day. Love you guys. Have a great freaking day. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Don't forget to vote. November 3rd. Love y'all. Bye. Builds up.